Well, hello there. My name is Treeburgers and welcome back to Bot Wars. So in the last episode, we found out that we could upgrade units to insane measures. And that is exactly what we will be doing today. So first of all, let's go ahead and find our barracks over here so that we can upgrade it. I really do hope that this is our barracks. Oh, yes, it is. So we're going to upgrade this to a T2 barracks because by doing so, we can buy new units. I feel like I'm just going to follow the AI here into combat because I don't really know where to go right now. But we have to find the enemy. Oh, and here's a couple new bodies joining us for combat. Bad. That's lovely. So for those of you that didn't actually know, but this is a game developed by Baron Fun Games, an amazingly funny game called Bot Wars. It's still in early access, so there is some good no fall damage some work to be done still but all in all this is just an insanely fun game and i've just enjoyed it so much so i felt like we were gonna come in here today with a great great purpose and that purpose is gonna be to try to see if we can develop one unit into the most stupidly overpowered dumb unit that you have ever seen i i don't see how that can ever go wrong i hear some gunfire out here and i think i see some shots as well this might just be you know what that might very well just be nothing so advanced into combat we go we can actually go into combat mode i just forgot about that but if we go into combat mode then we can have a quick look on the surroundings here and there is a lot going on already i see that we're slowly capturing this i feel like that would actually be a very very good point to turn into a turret so i think we're gonna go ahead and do that got ourselves another barracks up here i think we have to go start by capturing green over here because they are the closest to us and if we just get them shut down early then we don't have to worry about that anymore oh god and the green gang is really just pushing in over here we just lost the guy i think we still have most of the squad here i think we Something big just shot at us right there. I don't know if that's... A oh, that's a mortar cannon. That's kind of scary. The thing is, though, that we can upgrade this now. I'm actually going to upgrade that to an MG turret just because those seems to be rather promising. I do, however, really want to get down here and just see if we can do something about that mortar tower down here because that seems a bit scary. We do, however, there's also, like... Is that a sniper tower? Oh, I suppose it is. That's not very good. So we have to just go for a different approach here, which could potentially be this way. Oh, well, hello there. Oh, that was not good. Oh, no, we lost Baron. I probably shouldn't just push in here. Oh, this is the bomb guy. That might actually be rather good for what we need here because we need to take down these towers. We actually took down one of their towers. So if we run over here instead, I don't know if we can actually just stand here and take down the tower. Okay, that was just... Oh, that almost bounced over there. All right, tower is distracted. Okay, maybe not. It's still pointing at me. It's not pointing at me anymore. Oh god, okay, we lost that guy too. So what I'm really just trying to do here is just earn enough money so that we can buy ourselves a new barracks. And as soon as we can do that, then we can get the unit that I need. So I didn't really show you guys this too much last time, but we can actually go ahead and just upgrade our units in here. Now I'm going to go ahead and just plunk quite a few points into the max HP and the max damage. So hopefully that's going to make all of our units stronger. And by the time that we get a unit that we just upgraded again and again and again, then that should be pretty good. <laughs> So I've just been running around for a bit trying to figure oh god no what the better what the better choice for unit would be and and you know I'm just running around with a regular machine gun guy here like the cheapest unit in the game and oh goodness me we just got another level up this is even more insane <laughs> so th this guy is i think a quite high level right now i think he's level eight or something he's definitely doing a great job and he just got himself a new gun which looks rather sick plus a cold bandana looking thing in neon of course this is butt wars so nevertheless though let's just have a look at in here we're constantly getting more skill points that we can just put into even higher skills so this guy already now has 2200 health which is quite a lot the only issue we have right now is the, the, the machine gun tower over here which we can't really do much with uh and and that is a bit of a shame but to sort of just counter that i'm just gonna s stay here for now and just shoot whatever bots they send at us because if we just keep on doing this did he just die well, i guess he did it's that mortar tower taking us out which is why we need the dude that can shoot rockets good thing about that is though we don't have to wait anymore for him so we can just buy a rocket guy right here and we should have him in our squad now i'm kind of thinking if we should just buy some machine gunners as well just to have a few extra people in our squad to make sure that we have enough people this is our new rocket guy as we saw the last time we played he has a rocket launcher and that's just fine it's not very good though and we can luckily do something about that <laughs> <laughs> Which shouldn't be too hard. I just saw something shoot from over here. So I'm just going to bombard the area over there with a the rocket. I don't think that does much, but we'll, we'll, we'll get there in time. So first of all, you know, we're just going to start this slow. by just taking out the tower down here. There we are. And then my second action shall be to take out the meteor tower or the mortar tower over here. That has been causing us a few issues, I think I can say. 
There we go. So we now have ourselves a better rocket launcher and we already like doubled our HP at least. And this better rocket launcher is definitely going to come in handy. We just grab not one bot kill, but two bot kills down there. So we can just take out this turret over here once more because I think that's going to give us even more levels. And since they just rebuild it the second after it died, then I don't think that should be too much of an issue. They also just rebuild that one over there. So let's just grab that one too. Now, I just now noticed that the enemy built themselves a sniper tower over there. Of course, we can't really have that as the sniper tower will eventually take up my buildings or my units and we that's that's no good. So I'm just going to walk over here and just see if we can take out that tower quickly. It is however quite far away, so we might need to adjust our shots here a bit. But there we are. That was honestly no challenge at all. Now, having done that, we can advance up to higher grounds. The reason that I want to do that is mostly just because, well, having an overview, overview of the entire battlefield will allow me to pretty much shoot the entire map, and that's going to make my experience farming so much easier. Now, since hopefully we don't have to spend any more money and units, I'm just going to go around and upgrade all of the towers that I can find, which seems like... The motor tower is still a bit of a bad idea since it's trying to shoot something that's underneath it. I'm questioning how that's going to work out for him. Oh, and by the way, there goes their tower again. Now, having the high ground here will hopefully make my life just a bit easier. I see that they're trying to rebuild the tower over there, which they also did rather efficiently since I didn't really shoot them before they made it there. I was hoping to just take out the units as they went over there to repair it, but I didn't quite. Oh. There we go. So we now have ourselves a better rocket launcher, which is going to make my life even more easy. So I just learned something new, that if we want to use these rockets to control them while we shoot, well, then we just simply play, press the right click and we get this fancy little camera up there in the top right corner that allows us to see where we're shooting. So we can much easier snipe the enemy, which is rather nice. Now, I do see that they have themselves a tower over here. So if I could hit that thing, that is, then I would totally take it out. I swear to God. Oh, did we just get it? I don't really hope I'm making any mistakes by doing this but I, I really just want as many guns on top of all of my buildings as possible what did i just do oh i just swapped my units we're gonna upgrade this to an armed barracks just to have even more guns shooting at people i'm sure that's fine so the good thing though right now is that the purple seems to be doing quite all right still they have about 40 units whereas we have about 60 units so we're almost on even ground just there i'm just gonna continue oh god the frames my frames are slowly also dying from this i don't really know why but i, I think it might just be because too much stuff is happening and again this game is in early access so there might be some optimization missing there since we are seeing a bit of lag here i'm not too sure about that oh god there's a lot of units down here i don't know if those are the ones causing the issue so we're just gonna take those out <laughs> and that gave another squad level there we are so we're now in six thousand health um, and that's that's i think that's a lot i don't really know i just can't wait to see where we're gonna end with this I just want to cherish the fact that this guy right now have, has 11,000. And I think when we started with this guy, he had around five, 600 or something along those lines. So he's definitely been getting an upgrade. And I feel like at this point, he might just be about ready for us to move him to the next line of fire. And that should make it just a bit easier for us to get some experience for him. Because it seems that the more robots that we kill, the more experience we get. And they are definitely the best income of experience. Now, it's it's probably going to be terrible for my frame rate once we go over here, but we're just going to have to live through it until we get strong enough to kill them. First of all, I just want to get rid of that turret up there because that thing is hurting us a bit. Then they got another one over there, so we're just going to make sure that we take that one out as well. Ow. And I just got shot from somewhere. Oh, they have a... Oh, that's a big thing. Ah. Uh, okay, I'm going to run back. <laughs> <laughs> so they bought a huge robot guy and they sent that thing towards us. I do however believe that we can actually take it out. Maybe. It has so much health. Even the all of the rockets that we're sending at it right now does not take it out. Luckily for us though, I'm pretty sure that we have 10 times the amount of health that that thing has. So we should be fine still. So we're just going to push in here and that is going to be the big battle bot out. That's very convenient. Well, they rebuilt this tower up here. Let's just help them with that one. I will say that it's not the easiest to take out enemies with a rocket launcher. So I'm really just keen on getting in somewhere where I'm a bit more safe than I am right now. I struggle with seeing exactly where all of the fire comes from mostly just probably because it's from just about everywhere but good thing is that we still have a lot of health <laughs> we lost just about a thousand so we still have nine thousand to go i am sure that we can survive that oh that's a lot of exploded bits isn't it oh god yes it is i don't want to be in that okay i'm just gonna step back for a bit because things in here are a bit too hectic right now is this cover no it's not all right so i decided to just go for it and and just run over here as fast as i can then i hope that gonna be enough to survive lucky for me though is that i have a lot of health and i have a lightsaber for some reason i don't really know why but hopefully it's gonna help me out good 
time with this, my hot times here, rather. So just gonna lightsaber this guy as well. Then I'm hoping that we have some sort of a cover over here. Oh, yes, we do. Yeah, and they have a motor up there, so we can just take that one out now that we're safe. I'm unsure for how long we're gonna be safe here, but hopefully it's just gonna be enough for us to hopefully take down this thing up here. Right, and then I'm just gonna continue hiding here. So we have a bunch of units coming over here. You know, let me just whip out. No, 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 no. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Please don't. I'm very low health right now. I'm just gonna quickly lightsaber this guy and then I'm gonna run out of here. Do we have some health in here anywhere? We just got a new gun for some reason. Look at how we just melted that robot there. I don't really know what that gun does, but I'm just gonna lure them all into here and then I'm gonna just lightsaber them down. And this guy too. And I, I think that might have given us another level. I honestly cannot really keep track of them anymore because there's just, it's just too many. I'm gonna do something here and I don't really know if it's stupid or not, but I'm just simply gonna put some pressure on these guys down here. Hopefully that's gonna give me enough units to take down. What the hell is that? Oh, God. Oh, no, we just lost him. We kind of fulfilled what we wanted to do here. We made a unit over 20,000 health, completely invincible. Well, not entirely, judging by the fact that he died. I do, however, not know if we should have done it with a sniper instead, considering that we get the most experience from shooting units. So apparently going for the sniper was one of my more brilliant ideas, because with the sniper, we can claim some insane combos. And those insane combos gives us some pretty insane experience bonuses. Each wave right now gives us about 30% of a level. And every time we get a level, we can get more upgrades and this guy also gets better so what's not to like about that our sniper is already at 25,000 health the bad thing right now is that we can't really heal it because well we need i think we need to find those blobs in order to get more health but regardless though we got a lot of health and and that's nice i guess i don't even know why i'm doing this at this point it's just stupid to move all the way over here judging by the amount of explosive and all that other stuff that they're throwing at me right now but i'm really just trying to do as terribly bad good as i can and that also means just trying my best not to die while also just trying to get this guy really really high so i feel like we're doing pretty good at that right now we uh hit 47,000 health which is quite a lot but i also think that is gonna be the end of it and you know what since we're slowly hitting a uh, sub 10 fps because of the amount of units and stuff going on in this map right now well i think we're gonna call it a, a match it was fun. There was not really any purpose to this. We just wanted to see how high we could get a robot. And apparently, for us, the answer is 47,000 health. A bit more than the standard unit over here that carries around just about 2,000 right now because we're so late into the game. So that was a lot of fun. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think down below. And until next time.